Welcome to this Excel tutorial. Here I'm going to show you a nice visual way to go through your data where it's very easy to understand what you want. So you want to view all of the items down here that are low stock. There we go. Fully stocked. Or the items that we need to reorder just like that. And I'm going to show you how to build this system so that you can display whatever you need to display. High performing employees, below average, above average, top 10, bottom 5, but you're going to have for all of those a nice visual button right here that you can click and understand what's going on. And if you like this tutorial, make sure to check out my full Excel courses on teachexcel.com. That'll help you improve your workday and automate Excel. I'll put a link to those below this video. But now let me show you the magic behind this. It's very easy to do. Let's first go to the exact same data set, but without any of the magic. So here we have our table of supplies, our parts. And the very first thing that we want to do is to add a helper column. And the reason for this is that the helper column is going to allow us to filter through this data however we want. Let's call it helper inventory. And now what we do is to put down here a formula that's going to output a value that we can then later use to filter. So what does that mean? Well, let's go back here to gardening and unhide column F. And we have helper reorder. So you can see right here we have reorder, low stock, fully stocked, the text that's right here. And some of you may already know what I did. This is a slicer. And we use the slicer to filter the data set on this helper column. And the slicer will show you all of the unique values from that column. So all that we have to do is to make sure that we output those values here. So we make a formula however we want. Here I'm using the ifs function. You can use whatever function you want. Let's go ahead and make that over here. So you have a helper column. You can have as many as you need. You can hide them later. They are an amazing thing to do to a regular data set or any data set. So we're going to use equals ifs. And here I want to check if this is a less than five, then I want to output reorder. So I'm simply making a little formula right here, a mathematical check. If it's less than five, it means we have to reorder it. So I output that text here, reorder, so it will go into the slicer. And then we make the next condition. If this is a less than 10, well, let's output low stock. And next, this is the final condition. It's going to match everything else. So we can output true for the test that simulates an else condition, or just select this guy and go greater than or equals to 10. And let's call that fully stocked. Close it up. And we can copy it down. And the next thing is to make it into a table. So we can click in here and hit control T or go to insert table. My table has headers, yes. And then all we have to do is go to table design. So click in the table, table design, insert slicer. Then we choose the helper column. Okay. And we get our slicer. Now we don't have anything that is fully stocked. So let's just make one 10. There we go. So it will only show the values that are currently visible in this column. Since nothing was fully stocked, that value wasn't there. But we can edit the slicer. Click it and go to the slicer tab. Let's add three columns. Make it a little bit bigger. Push our table down. Bring it over. And slicer, slicer settings. Uh, let's change the caption simply to, how about inventory? Hit OK. We can hide this, so right click the column, hide, it's gone, nobody is the wiser, and now we can go through our data like that. Nice visual way. The last thing is to add just a little bit of formatting so it looks better. So we click the slicer, slicer, let's go up here to styles. And whatever style is already selected, right click that guy, go to duplicate. Then for whole slicer, what I like to do is to remove the border. But you can spend a very long time going through everything here and changing it. So let's go to whole slicer, format, border, none, so it removes it. Okay. Okay. Maybe we make it a little bigger. Click away. 
And of course, I always forget this part. We have to then select the style that we just made. So this is our new style. Then we can click away, no more border. Then we can go to view, remove the grid lines, and you are starting to have something that looks quite nice and is very effective. It's visual, easy to understand, easy to go through. And that's what we want. So slicers plus helper columns equals Excel happiness. <laughs> And please remember that for the helper column, you can make your formulas as complex as you want. The goal is simply to get text up here for your slicer that you can understand that will then help you filter through your data. That's all for this tutorial. If you liked it, please check out my full Excel courses on teachexcel.com. Those are going to take you from beginner to expert and really help you automate your workbooks. And make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get all of our future tutorials. That's all for this week. See you next time.